Um, in your book, you actually reviewed the science of music. Music stimulates emotional circuits in the brain, releases oxytocin, the cuddle hormone, which can enhance bonding, trust, and relationship. Music, listening to music can create peak emotions, which increases the amount of dopamine, a specific neurotransmitter that is produced in the brain and helps control the brain's reward and pleasure centers. You also write music was used to assist patients with severe brain injuries and recalling personal memories. Music helped patients to reconnect to memories they previously could not access. Mm -hmm. Beware, mm -hmm. however, that music you strongly like or dislike can actually impair your focus. Right, because you're so you're so focused on that music that the tasks that you're trying to complete, it can also uh, distract you from it. So there's an art really to doing um, music for focus because you want it to be appealing and you want people to like it, but not so much that they're humming the melodies with it, not so much that they're tapping their feet to it, but they're keeping their attention there with it. And you want it to be able to kind of mask what's going on if you're using it in an office. You know, you want it to be able to mask some of that office noise that's going on that could be distracting to you. So that's why a lot but of... But if you like <laughs> it or hate it too much, it'll actually distract you. So stay with us. We're actually <laughs> going to talk about you developing your own emotional rescue play playlist. Stay with us. <laughs> 